All right, here are my specs. 3070 Ti, 8 gigs of VRAM, 32 uh, gigs of RAM at 32, uh, 3200, uh, 5800X, just default speeds, no overclocking, no undervolting, just default. Um, so yeah, so as you can see over here, VC face is running around 10%. This will jump sometimes depending on the model you use or depending on how much stuff is going on. For me, very simple model, purposely done so that I don't have too much utilization on my GPU. I am using a built-in face tracking. I'm not using an iPhone or an Android to capture any anything. So it's all just done with a webcam. So in this actual VC face itself, getting better getting better performance can usually be done by simply disabling anti-aliasing having the window to, from either 1920 to 720 try not to go any lower than that uh using a frame cap instead of v-sync v-sync will sync to your monitor refresh rate so if you have a 240 hertz monitor it'll make your thing it'll make the app run at 240 lock it at 60 especially if you're just streaming or recording in 60. Using Spout Image Capture, this one actually helps performance a lot, surprisingly. And then disabling or unchecking all of these red ones, unless you actually use them, or unless you want to hide your avatar, for example, like this, then go ahead, use it. But other than that, these ones are basically experimental, and they're very buggy. Sometimes, sometimes if you use something like keep hips mostly fixed, not only does it kind of like look weird, when you look up and down, but sometimes the priority will increase to like from like 15%, anywhere from 15% utility to 20% utility. It'll just go crazy sometimes. But really, use, using 60 FPS, disabling these two, using Spout, um, are probably the easiest ones that I could recommend to really reduce the load of this of this program.